Across the Pollution by Kiara Perez and Moses Rada. Hey, Kiara. What's up, Moisey? What do you say we teach everybody a little bit about plastic pollution? Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Mm. The issue we will be covering today is plastic pollution. Why is it important to address this issue? It's important to address plastic pollution because it's a big problem today. What are the primary causes of the issue? The primary cause are that plastic flows into the ocean through sewers and rivers and is blown towards the sea by the wind or is directly discarded onto the beach. Of all plastic we use, 40% is used just once. Every year we use several billion items such as bags, bottles, trays, and food packaging. <laughs> Supermarkets are full of it. Some people are careless with packaging and leave it behind as litter. What are the immediate and long-term effects of this issue? The long-term effects of this issue are that plastic pollution chokes marine wildlife, damages soil, poisons groundwater, and causes serious health impacts. But how does it affect local in ecosystems, wildlife, and human communities? Well, for starters, plastic pollution can heavily alter habitats and natural processes, reducing ecosystems' abilities to combat climate change and affect millions of people's livelihoods, food production capabilities, and social well-beings. But how does the issue also manifest in our local community? There is a constant reminder that plastics need to be recycled here at BHS. Additionally, the service commission class is a constant help in addressing the issue. But another thing is, are there any, is there any constant help regarding the issue or any initiatives, policies, or regulations addressing the problem? Well, issued on June 8th, 2022, by the secretary order 3407, it aims to reduce the procurement, sale, and distribution of single-use plastics and packaging with a goal of phasing out single-use plastics on department-managed lands by 2030. How does the environmental issue affect the health of local populations? The toxic chemical additives and pollutants found in plastics threaten human life on a global scale. Scientifically proven, health effects include causing cancer or changing hormone activity, which can lead to reproductive growth and cognitive impairment. What are existing solutions or mitigation strategies for the issue? Wean yourself off disposable plastics, stop buying water, boycott microbeads, cook more, purchase items secondhand, recycle, support a bag tax or ban, buy in bulk, bring your own garment bag to the dry cleaner, put pressure on manufacturing. But what challenges exist in implementing solutions to the issue? The issue being plastic pollution. Well, lack of technical skills for managing hazardous waste, insufficient infrastructure development for recycling and recovery, and above all, lack of awareness of the rules and regulations are the key factors behind the massive pile of plastic waste. But are also, are there any economic, social, or political barriers to addressing the problem. Well, the, po the politics of plastics is a growing field of inquiry with the most rapid expansion in the areas of marine pollution and microplastics. Our consideration of plastic flow reveals increasing politic politicization towards the latter of the end of the life cycle. That is, plastic as a waste. Are there any organizations involved in addressing the issue? For Ocean, World Environment Day, United Nations Environment, Chesapeake Bay Foundation, Los Cerritos Wetland Stewards, and Idea Relief are all, part, all are active parts of the community focused on educating and providing help. What is the project future impact of the environmental issue if no action is taken? According to the UN Environment Program, Plastics account for nearly 85% of marine pollution, which is around 75 to 199 million tons in the ocean. 
and the scale of plastic pollution is expected to rise dramatically over the coming decades unless urgent global action is taken. If this continues, it is estimated there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050. Moving to our second to last point, are there any emerging technologies or innovations that could contribute to solving the issue? Advanced recycling technologies. These innovative approaches such as chemical recycling and pyrolysis enable the conversion of plastic waste into valuable food feedstock for new materials or energy production. What policies or regulations exist to mitigate the issue? The US Department of State state has implemented a variety of actions to address the issue but also what educational initiatives are in place to inform the public about the issue i'll let kiora take over the reduction of single-use plastic use is something that has been largely talked about recently what is the general public's participation and understanding of the issue more than half of Americans worry that plastic material they recycle will end up in the ocean, worry that their actions won't make an impact on the overall amount of plastic waste, and are confused by different types of plastic and how to recycle. That's it. Thank you for listening.